spring warm weather is just around the corner and black girl sunscreen has got something new for us. Actually, you should wear sunscreen every single day of your life, no matter if it's hot or cold or if you're going outside or you're staying inside, just like put your sunscreen on. It's Tuesday. Test It Tuesday, where I do a five minute review of a product recommended to me from a social media ad. Now I've reviewed sunscreen from Black Girl Sunscreen before. So if you wanna check out that review, I'll link it up here. And I'll also leave it down in the description box. But today's product is Black Girl Sunscreen's new sunscreen called Make It Hybrid. I'm super pumped about this one. I wear one of their sunscreens every single day of my life. I have the Make It Matte and the Moisturizing Regular one. So I wear one of these every single day. It depends on like what kind of makeup I'm doing or like what I'm doing the day. That's what makes me decide on either one of these. So this is the Make It Hybrid. It is a lightweight mineral and synthetic formula with zinc oxide that leaves no white residue and a dewy finish. It has an SPF of 50. It also is infused with aloe, lavender, and shea butter. This helps soothe, heal, and moisturize the skin. It is for face and body, and the tube has three fluid ounces in it. Oh, it's falling out. Now, it says it's fragrance-free on the bottle, but it smells like straight up lavender to me. It smells good, I love lavender. Hopefully it doesn't make my face break out because that would be terrible. It's also water resistant up to 80 minutes. It's like super watery. Okay, let's see. Oh, <laughs> look, I'm not even squeezing and it's just running out. Um, <laughs> now I got a whole mess. So we'll try it on the right side of my face just to compare it. We're putting it on. Yeah, this smells really lavendery. So it's supposed to rub in and leave no white cast and it's supposed to leave a dewy, dewy finish. It definitely all rubbed in. I was a little afraid at first because when you're like first applying it, there is white. You kind of just have to make sure you keep rubbing it in. There's like a big glob of it on my desk. <laughs> so when I take a photo of myself with the flash on, I don't, I'm not getting any like white casting or flashback. Um, it looks pretty good. It's definitely dewy. This side is way more dewy than this side. I love that it's SPF 50. The reason why they call this the hybrid is because it's a mineral sunscreen and a synthetic sunscreen combined together to get the best of both worlds. I paid $18.99 for this plus shipping. Shipping was like five-ish dollars or something like that. And it got here really fast, which was nice. It has like dried down. It feels really nice on the skin. Um, very moisturized, very dewy. It doesn't feel too greasy or anything like that. It feels really good. One downfall I think is a downfall is that it says it's fragrance free, but it smells very strongly of lavender. I'm not sure if you have like sensitive skin or if you know lavender like bothers your skin, you're not gonna wanna use this. So if you don't like the smell of lavender, I probably wouldn't recommend this for you because it's pretty strong. Another thing that I'm not a huge fan of is when you open the cap, it's just gonna start running out. So like you don't even have to squeeze it, it just starts pouring out. I have puddles. I have a puddle from when I originally opened it over here and now I have a puddle from just showing you that. Maybe I'll use this puddle and do the other side of my face now. I don't wanna waste it. It's a good product. Strong smell. It's runny, like really runny. I wish they would have made the bottle a little different where you actually had to squeeze it to get it out because although that's not like a huge problem, it's gonna be wasteful if you're not paying attention or if you're not being careful with it. You're gonna waste product because it's gonna come running out. But other than that, I'm really liking it. I can't wait to keep using it to see how I really feel about it. But those are like my first impressions. Um, so I'm happy to add this to my collection of black girl sunscreen. My favorite thing about these sunscreens is that they dry clear and don't leave a white residue. Having sunscreen options that aren't gonna make me have a white cast on my face are like key. Lavender doesn't bother me. I like the way lavender smells, but if you do not, I would definitely avoid. Well, that's all I have for today's Tested Tuesday. If you enjoyed today's review, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps my channel. I will leave a link 
to the hybrid sunscreen down below if you want to go check it out on their website and don't forget to come back next Tuesday for another product review okay bye look at that glow though okay but ignore my acne okay bye